if you come to the castle to study concurrent education, you'll carry your usual raft of arts and science courses, um, but then you'll also have two education components to your program here. So our concurrent education students are busy people, um, but they're aiming to be teachers who are busy people. Uh, the first component that uh, I teach is a course that you will take um, entitled Prof 110, uh, Self as Teacher. So this picture is actually my own classroom last year when we were all set up to be COVID safe. Um, and this is at one of the schools that uh, many of our students have an opportunity to do a practical placement in, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, in Prof 110, the idea is to start to flip your perspective. You've spent lots of time being a student in a classroom, and now if you want to be an educator, you need to start looking at classrooms from the other side. Um, so we cover a wide variety of topics over the, um, over the year. We look at curriculum, uh, we talk about inclusion, differentiated instruction, how teachers choose effective resources and how they're used effectively in the classroom. Uh, we look at lesson planning and how teachers put together effective lesson plans. We talk about the use of space in classrooms. Um, we cover important issues around student safeguarding. Um, and we look at assessment in lots of different ways and how assessment is used effectively. Um, our, our course textbook gives you a good introduction to some basic pedagogy, some basic educational theory. Um, but most importantly, we try and then link that theory to your real world classroom experience. And that's where what we're able to offer at the BISC with your practicum placement really comes into its own, is when we can bring it back into our Prof 110 classes um, and discuss the things that you've seen and experienced. Um, we also, like all of your courses at the BISC, um, take ELO trips. Um, this past autumn, we went into London and we visited the Foundling Museum. It's on the site of London's Foundling Hospital, which was an 18th century institution for orphaned children. Um, so they provided education and training for children um, before they sent them out to the workforce, very young, of course, at that time. And many of their children, um, of course, were, were uh, young people who had various disabilities or medical needs, um, which were little understood at the time. And of course, special educational needs has come a really long way in how we're able to support students since that time. So it gave our, our BISC students an opportunity to think critically about the way we use language in describing student need um, and the way our, our um, practice um, around supporting students with additional needs has really evolved over years and years. Um, uh, we're looking forward uh, this term to having a couple of guest educators from a specialist school here in the UK that supports uh, students with autism spectrum disorders and speech, language and communication needs. Um, so they're coming to talk to us about student engagement, about managing challenging behaviour in the classroom. Um, and uh, we're really looking forward to, to having them on campus here with us. Um, the course always includes a lot of other guest speakers as well, um, because of course we want to link you to lots of different educators over the year. So as well as having UK educators come to the castle, um, we often link up online uh, with Ontario educators. Um, and as Christian mentioned earlier, we have over the past couple of years also made links with Indigenous education elders. Um, and last year it was uh, the elder in residence at the um, Faculty of Education who was able to join us online and we hope she'll be able to do so again this year. Um, so that's your Prof 110 course which happens once a week but then alongside that you have your practicum placement and this often becomes a real highlight I think for lots of our education students. Um, the building in this picture is Battle Abbey School which is one of our uh, host school partners so you may have the opportunity to have one of your placements there over the course of your year. So the practicum is where like I said you're able to take um, actual um, practice in classrooms and then bring that back to our, our prof course to discuss what you have seen and what you've been able to experience. Uh, we have a number of local partner schools, both primary and secondary, both uh, state schools and private schools. And this year we have some new um, and really exciting programs for practicum as well. Uh, we have a link with a, a program that's for um, older students with special educational needs, which is actually based here in the castle grounds, making use of our gardens and grounds. Um, and we also have an outdoor education link at uh, a nearby primary school. And the picture you can see in the corner is a couple of our students at their fall term practicum this year. Um, 
that's the people, not the chickens. Uh, so they were at a, a school that basically has a farm and they have water buffalo and they go out on the marsh and they had marshmallows and campfires and um, did some really important work around supporting children who had a lot of um, emotional needs um, and, and the work that they could do outdoors had uh, impressive impact. Um, so your role in practicum is to observe what's going on in the classrooms, support the teachers and the teaching assistants in the classrooms and build relationships with the students that you're working with when you go into those classrooms. Um, our, our con ed students are often able to share their own interests and skills, teach little mini lessons sometimes, um, and share their own culture uh, when they go into their classrooms. And that's something that I think our host teachers really look forward to having our students do because it brings a, a, an extra sort of international aspect to their classrooms as well. So our students are able to provide a lot of benefit to their host schools um, and get a lot back in return. Um, it gives you that opportunity to experience a different education system and a different curriculum from what you probably have experienced um, wherever your home country, home school is. Um, and I think that's really important when you look at your career ahead as a teacher, because if there's one thing that teachers need to be, it's flexible. Um, and showing that you've been able to study abroad and work within a different education system really shows that you have that capacity to work and think flexibly. Um, and I think that leads lots of our students to working in education, either in their own home areas, but as very strong practitioners, or lots of students then look at ways that you can take education um, into a really global international um, profession and can teach lots of different places in the world. So you'll have placements um, throughout the fall and winter term. And one of the things that we're really lucky we can do here at the BISC, which isn't possible on main campus, is we integrate your placement throughout your term. So whereas on main campus you do a block of practicum, um, usually once your classes are finished, here you will have practicum for a couple of hours every single week and that's where you're able to then take those things that you've seen or the questions that you might have and bring them back to our course on campus and unpick what you've experienced a little bit more. So we really think it gives our students that extra leg up in looking at how theory and practice really work together in education. So I think our Con Ed students always have a really good time. Here's a few of them at a dressing up day at their host school. Um, and hopefully we'll see you in the autumn to join us to have just as much fun. <laughs>